Hi, I'm John Paul from Power by Nature. Today we are going to be looking at some more portable solar powered generators. Um, originally my first solar review um, that I did, I reviewed the Solar Gorilla. Now the Solar Gorilla was quite a nice piece of um, equipment. Um, one of the big bonuses of this was all the attachments you got. The downside was basically the solar panels, which didn't work unless in direct sunlight. And even when in direct sunlight, if the sun went in um, because of cloud cover, for example, or somebody walked past and there was a shadow created, the solar panels basically cut out and stopped charging anything. So it meant charging direct from the solar panel was a waste of time. Um, you could buy various attachments that go with this, which is basically a portable uh, battery pack. Um, and you could obviously charge that, but you'd have exactly the same problem. Um, unless you charge this prior to going away and use these panels to top uh, the batteries up, it's still, in my opinion, not a very good setup, apart from obviously all the attachments. What I have bought um, is this, which is an A Plus Life um, by DZ Energy. And it's very similar idea to the Solar Gorilla, it's portable. This one did actually come with the battery pack as well. Um, but obviously we'll look at that in a second. So in the box we obviously have the solar panel, which is a fixed solar panel, unlike the solar gorilla, which um, you could obviously bend and fold, you can't with this, that is fixed. You do get, uh, in, four, in the four corners here, there's some holes, which um, I've already attached some suction cups, as you can see there. Now the whole idea is you obviously you attach this to a window um, and it can sit there getting the, uh, the sunlight or the daylight at least and charge various things up. I have already played with this this morning, now one of my big concerns was these um, suckers. Um, if like me you've, you've, had, you've bought various things with suckers, you know sometimes it can be well, pretty much rubbish. These however have actually been quite good. Um, I had it running this morning for a couple of hours in the office and it didn't budge, which is always a good sign, so these are obviously quite good suckers. The other thing you get with it are some, uh, well, these are what are the stands for the solar panel themselves. Now the whole idea when these suckers are not, not on is you simply slide these into the sides like so, um, these little no not just here, obviously will basically be covered, but you would slide them in um, and that would basically stand up. So obviously if you're away camping or anything and you have nothing to attach it to via the suckers, you can obviously stand it up. So you can still get the full benefit of um, the sun. So obviously you get two of them, obviously one for each side. You get some standard attachments, so you have one for the car, so bog standard. You have some Bog standard crocodile clips, nothing special with them. They attach them to obviously a leisure battery of some description, or even a car battery. You also get some screws if you want to actually mount this to the wall, you can do, depending on obviously where you're putting it. And you also get from the accessory side of it some LED lights. Um, these are, I think, these are around a five meter cable, so they do have quite a good reach. The whole idea being that obviously um, you can plug these in to the little power pack um, and you can light up sort of your, your tent or your back garden depending on what you're doing. But you get two of these as well and these are actually very powerful. And lastly, you get the power pack. Now this power pack is I think one of the best things uh, within this whole kit to be perfectly honest. All it is is a small, a small battery storage, um, easiest way to describe it. On the side here you can see we have on-off switch, quite normal. You have an input here, which is for the solar panel itself. And then you have some outputs. You have a two 12 volt DCs, which is actually for the LED lights. And you have a USB charging point. Now it is only a very small charging point, it's only a five volt. So it will only run smaller devices. Um, just as an example of how it works, we can simply get one of the lights, we plug it in, turn it on, and as you can see, I mean, 
you know, that is very powerful. So absolutely ideal for when you're camping or if you're out in the back garden and you've got friends over, for example. Um, you know, if you want some extra light, then you can do, which is great. So, connecting the actual solar panel is obviously very simple. Um, oh, that, this was another attachment um, that came with it, but this is basically just to plug into the battery. So you can just connect it like so, go to the input, plug it in, and I don't quite know if you can see that, but there's a little red light that's came on. Uh, because it's actually charging it up now. Now the solar panel, you be able to see, I don't know if you can quite see it, but just here the is a very nice coloured blue LED light. Now basically the whole idea of this light is the stronger the blue, the more charge it's given off. Now we're sitting in here, I'll see if we can get a nice close up of that. Yeah. So as you can see we are inside, it's quite an overcast day. Um, but it is actually generating some charge straight away. Now one of my biggest issues with the Solar Gorilla was the fact that I wouldn't do this. And just to prove a point, we have the Solar Gorilla uh, panels here. Now if I open this up and turn it over, there's a light here which is the indicator light which says if it's actually on and working. Now this should go, uh, I think it was green as well. Um, however, even if I bring it up nice and close, you can see there's absolutely no light whatsoever. Now this was my, like I said, this was my biggest issue, the fact it wouldn't work unless in direct sunlight, which in the UK we're not always guaranteed, so I just don't see the point in these panels. So all in all, a very good piece of equipment. Um, the solar panel rack does actually work extremely well, even in low light. The little battery power pack um, is absolutely perfect. It's such a lightweight device as well. Um, you know, you won't even know you're sort of carrying it. And obviously the fact that you've got a few of the attachments, you've got the, the USB charge point and the two DCs for the lights is absolutely brilliant. Now what I did want to do is I wanted to have a quick check to make sure it will charge. So we have my phone, which is a Samsung Galaxy Tab. And we have the USB charging cable for it. So all I will do is quickly plug it in. And if I attach it to the USB, turn it on, and there it goes, it's charging. Now I did try this a little bit earlier, and what it actually does is my phone actually sees this as a mass storage device. Which doesn't matter because it would be exactly the same if it's uh, charging off the PC for example. It still charges up. And it's still going to work absolutely fine. So it will charge up um, my mobile phone. Another thing I thought oh, I could try <laughs> was um, my wife's Nintendo DS Lite. Now this has absolutely no charge in it whatsoever because she basically never plugs it in. So I thought I would try and charge it. However, there is no USB charge cable that... Uh, comes with this. I don't know if there is now, but when we bought this there wasn't. So I praised the solar gorilla earlier for having all the attachments but not the actual solar panel. So I've, I've raided the box and I have found the Nintendo DS Lite USB cable from the solar gorilla, which I can obviously now means I can plug in the DS Lite um, and see if it works. So we plug in one side, plug, in, plug it into the mains, and obviously if that should work, we'll have the light come on. And, ah, oh, that's on, sorry. And as you can see, yeah, the light just came on as well. So, it's not great for charging any larger devices. It will charge a mobile phone, it will charge a Nintendo DS Lite. I think if you want anything larger, you're going to struggle, um, if it even works whatsoever. But obviously, for a portable little device, um, if you're a family or a couple or a single person who goes camping, you know, whether you're camping at festivals or you're going out fishing, 
anything like that you could take this little set of equipment with you you've got your lights which are very very powerful um, and obviously you can keep this charged up through the day um, and run the lights at night and I think it should run absolutely fine for a fair few hours so all in all a very very good piece of equipment it could benefit from maybe a few more attachments um, obviously things like the, the uh, Nintendo DS Lite I couldn't plug in if I didn't have the Solar Gorilla um, so it had a few more attachments it would be absolutely great but it's still a good piece of kit it works very well under low light conditions it's very light it's very portable and there's a good few options with it so all in all it gets a thumbs up from me and I'm glad I purchased it so thank you